24 minutes past eight. Andrew McKay, the accountant footy manager, has also been good enough to join us as we touch base uh, with all the AFL clubs between now and the start of the season. Uh, good morning to you, Macca. Morning, Andy. How are you, mate? I'm, we're good. I'm good, and uh, Gazy's good as well. And yeah, real good. We, uh, Carlton Andrew, support- how are you? Really good. Carlton supporters will wait to the news this morning that Lockie Henderson's had a bit of a setback. Um, yeah, he has. What is, uh, what is it, Macca? Well, it's just a... It's- ITB, which is iliotibial band, which you guys will be well aware of, I'm sure. Of course. The, the band of fascia that runs from your hip down to your knee on the outside of your mm. quadricep muscle, that can that can tighten up, and he's had a bit of bit of trouble with that the last couple of weeks, and it's not freeing up as much as we'd like. So we're just going to uh, have a release on that uh, in the next day or so. But the good thing about it is he'll be running within 10 days, he'll be on the track again within two weeks, and he'll be playing within four weeks. So. We figured if we get it done now, then he'll be right for round one, whereas it could linger on for a good period of time, and then we may have to get it done down the track, which means that he'd miss games. So I think we're taking the right option here. So when you say release, that, that's actually an operation required? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. They actually uh, cut that band to either, either foot, well, not fully, but just a, a little bit, so it reduces the tension there. Is the plan to play him in defence or attack this year? Both. Andrew, both, hopefully. Um, certainly that's the beauty about Lockie. He's, he's versatile and obviously uh, we've seen him up forward kicking a few goals and he actually is a, you know, he's a forward as a youngster. And so he knows where to run and you know, got a good head uh, for the space and awareness and things like that. But certainly um, his height and his um, body work is good in defence. So we'd like to use him at both ends. We'll just depend on who we play at the time and, and how they man up and how we man up against opposition. The big ticket item in the off-season was Dale Thomas. How's his ankles holding up? Yeah, he's going well. He's back uh, doing full training now, so that's great. He obviously had a bit of a slower build-up than the rest of them. Um, he's you know, just running early before Christmas, but now in full training, and he's, he's doing uh, you know, all the things you need to do in full training, the, the long kicks and changing direction and all that type of thing. It's holding up well, so uh, you know we're confident that uh, we'll get a full season out of Daisy. And the rest of the list, other than the, the most recent setback with Henderson, it, it sounds like the the rest of the list, by and large, is in pretty good nick at the moment. Yeah, not too bad, Andy. I mean, we don't want to talk it up too much, but certainly um, the the bulk of the list is pretty healthy. We've got a few little niggles, which um, you know, or a few guys that are just building slowly, like Cruiser, who's had that op. Uh, foot operation at the end of the year. He's been building up slowly, so he'll be in full training over the next uh, next week or so. A couple of others are, are in a similar boat, but yeah, generally speaking, we're pretty healthy, which was good. You know, I always feel a bit for the clubs that get the emails from and saying, you know, this guy's gone down for a couple of months mm. or this guy, so uh, we just touch wood and keep our fingers crossed. And how's Mick Malthouse going in his second year? Have you have you noticed any specific changes in his demeanour or the way he goes about it? We're reading in the paper today that might be tweaking the game plan just to be a little bit more offensively orientated than we've seen in the past. Have you noticed any significant changes? Uh, certainly not in his personality, Andrew, but uh, <laughs> uh, we, are, we will be building on our game plan. Uh, we, we're doing it in a bit of a step process last year. We've Obviously, a fair bit to learn for the boys, and we'll just build on that this year. And um, I imagine we'll probably build on it again next year. It's all about just improving, isn't it? We, we need to improve more than the other teams to, to get a bit more of an advantage. So, yeah, it's all things going well with Mick. And have you been impressed by Patrick Cripps, Macca, the first pick in the national draft? Seemed like a really specific, targeted type recruitment. Um, how's he looking through his first AFL preseason? Yeah, he's looking well. Obviously, don't want to put too much pressure on the young fella, but. He's um, he's a good shape. He's a good, big-bodied midfielder for us. So, you know, we saw um, Fremantle go quite well last year with big-bodied midfielders, and a couple of other teams doing the same. Sydney and those guys. So, you now if we can get some strength, a bit more strength around that ball, then uh, that will certainly help. Is he help ath- out. It gives the gives the other guys a bit of a chop out, like Juddy and Murph and those guys. Is he athletic? He is. He's uh, you know, he's got a Good, good, strong legs on him and good, strong backside on him. So uh, uh, he'll need to build up his tank over the next 12 months or so, get a bit more endurance under his belt. But um, certainly he, he's got a great stature for it. Mate, let's hope all goes well with Henderson. Uh, good luck for the rest of the preseason. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to touch base um, a little bit further down the track. Thanks for joining us this morning. 
Excellent. Thank you, Andrews. Good on you, Andrews. <laughs> Andrew McKay. Another one. Uh, footy manager from the Blues. Get yourself a Carlton membership now. It's the lifeblood of every footy club. Head to membership.carltonfc.com.au or give them a call, one 300 Carlton. Time for the 8.30 news.